Hello, everybody. We've been talking about framing the horse up. We've been talking about the fundamentals, the groundwork, and things like that. Uh, one of the big things is a side pass. Everybody wants their horses a side pass. And it is very impressive to a lot of people. And a lot of people, if they have a horse that won't side pass, they, they don't know how to get one to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down in a really easy way so you can kind of understand, okay? We're going to use our hands a lot of the same way we do when we frame up. You know, like if we're wanting to shove our shoulders to the right, we cock them to the left and we stick our leg in and, and they come over here to the right and things like that. We're going to do the same thing on the side pass. Now, the first step in side passing is your horse has got to be able to get off your feet, your legs, okay? So whenever I'm wanting to teach Colt how to side pass, I'm going to come out here and I'm just going to get my horse bent and I'm going to walk this circle. I'm just going to walk a circle. And then, once she gets comfortable, and you can tell she is, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to pick up on my inside rein and just hold the right one, stick my leg in, and I'm just going to push her out of the circle. Like that right there. And once she goes out, I'm just going to drop everything, come back in my circle. And then I'm going to pick her up again. And I'm going to shove her out of that circle with my leg. Right there. I'll let her back in. Now I'm going to do it right here. Right there. Get out of the circle. And keep going forward. And keep going forward. Come on. Right there. Right there. This is what I've been talking about. Through all my videos. About horses pushing on your legs. Pushing on your hands. Pushing, pushing, pushy horses. Okay. These little exercises right here will get one stop pushing on you. Now, if she didn't want to, look how she steps out of there. Now, if she didn't want to step out of there, I'm just going to hold everything and hold that spur in her and kind of roll it until she does step out of it. Does that make sense? She's doing it pretty good here, shoving out, going to the left here. I'm going to do it one more time right here. Come on, go forward. Go forward. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. There. And you can feel them. The whole thing right underneath your butt slide sideways. Now we're going to go ahead and teach her she's got to do that on the other side too. Okay. So we're going to sit here. We're going to go around. And always remember, every horse has a good side and a bad side. A while ago, her left side was good, and the right side was bad. Then those two switched. Now, she done really good there on the left this time. What we're going to do is we're going to find out what she wants to do on this right side if she wants to get off that pressure. So what I'm going to do is pick up here on this inside rein, and I'm going to stick this spur in and push her out of the circle. And then she's wanting to stop. And she's wanting to fight. Fight me now. There. There. Come here. Don't worry about him. He's just back there rolling, making noise. You need to worry about me here. Now, I'm going to come around this corner here. And I'm going to pick up. And I'm going to stick my foot in. Say, get over here. Right there. That's what I want. Keep her head cocked to the inside and shove those shoulders over. It's the same thing as framing one up. It's the concept's the same. We're just doing it in a circle. And all we're asking her to do is to step out of the circle sideways. Right here. There you go. See, we're side passing right there. You've done taught a side pass, and a lot of times she don't even know it, and neither do you. 
Because right there she took three steps sideways, perfectly sideways. And what this is, is getting one where they're not pushing on your hands, they're not pushing on you with your legs, with their ribs and things like that. You're getting your horse soft, supple, and light. To me, supple means being able to bend and move at the same time in a soft way, like that right there. See, what I'm doing right now is I'm suppling my horse. Right there, right there. See how she's coming over to you? She's side passing. Now, I never had taught this horse to side pass yet. Basically, all I'd done was my foundation work, and we got on her and went to trail riding. She's been lacking in some of this stuff. But our lives has been helter-skelter, and now we're kind of making up for a little bit of it. So see, there we go. Right back over here. Right back over here. Side pass, come on. There you go. There you go. And the more you do that, the better you get. And watch this. Whoop. Now see how she just want, she left she left her ass end here. And the front end moved over. What I'm going to do is slide my spur back just a little bit and ask the whole body to go sideways. There. Come on. And the butt can't keep up. There you go. Now, but that there is the beginning steps of the side pass. And you just keep doing that. Let's see what she'll do here on this side. Remember, this is her right side. This is her bad side. See, she wants to take a step back to get there, right there. That's what we want. We had never taught this mare to side pass till what we've done right here in the last five minutes. But that's how easy it is to get a side pass on a horse. Is it pretty? No. Is it correct? No. But it's a hell of a lot better than it was when we started because she didn't know nothing. But that there's just the beginning steps. And what you do is you just keep refining and refining and refining it until pretty soon you sit here and you just kind of pick up like that and looky here. I mean, it, you know, it, it, it'll all just start coming together. The main thing is be clear in your signals. So anyway, hope that helped you. Stay tuned. There's more coming.